to save on the YouTube VOD. Alright, there we go. everybody hello welcome welcome get settled in we're going to be starting up the stream in approximately three and a half minutes Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the official Rockfish Games stream. I am your host, your servant, and your guide, Eric Schrader, the community ambassador for Rockfish Games. I will be telling you all about Everspace 2 during the course of this development interaction with you all. Oh my goodness, it's good. it should be a pretty nice time. Uh, this is a volume check, by the way, because I didn't quite do that uh, beforehand. <laughs> uh, but uh, also, just giving you a quick understanding of what we're doing in today's stream. It's going to be fairly concise today. It won't be all over the place, I hope. It's going to depend on your questions that you ask, which we love to answer. Um, and we are as direct as possible. We are transparent development 
company. That means for the most part, we are gonna give you the straightest answer of everything that you ask. I say for the most part, because there's some stuff that we intentionally withhold because it's development and we don't want to spoil you for all the fun things we're doing. That would be kind of silly. Ah, but uh, anyway, yeah, we're in the home stretch of 1.0. So this stream today, we are going to dive into the last of the three added side missions into the latest fall update. The one that we have not done yet is called Citizens of Velocity. We are going to cruise through it all, at least as, as much as time allows for it. Maybe I'll go for some Platinums. Maybe I'll try to get all Platinums. I, I don't know. It's, it's going to depend on uh, what time allows. We'll just kind of like navigate that process organically and see its approach. There will be segments through the course of the stream where we will take a break, answer those burning questions that you all have, then we'll dive back into the game uh, for either references to those questions or also onto the next particular topic. I have a feeling we're gonna be doing a lot of racing today. Um, that's just what I'm pointing out. If we have time beyond the whole racing stuff, um, we will probably take on a couple jobs to mix things up with some combat, maybe do a rift, I'm not sure, again, really don't know. We're playing a much more organically structured stream approach today, it's gonna to just kind of happen and we're gonna love it, right? And then we are going to reveal the contest winners for the community challenge we did. Some of you might be going, wait, what? What community challenge? That's right, last week we imposed a challenge that you must submit theme screenshots. The topic was weapons and devices. So we'll reveal those winners and there will be a member or maybe two who gets bragging rights for a week in the Rockfish Discord. All right, so. Without further ado, let's get into this. So, regarding Citizens of Velocity. Some of you all who have been participating in the early access for a while uh, have noticed something in particular that occurred. Right here is where we would normally have a race gate. And some of you, when you restarted your saves and you were going through, you were like, wait a second, did they remove racing? I thought they were updating. I thought they were adding a bunch of stuff. Well, it's, it's gone. In fact, it also vanished from Cryptus Bull and it also vanished from the, re the ghost field. Just completely vanished at the start of the game. This was incredibly intentional and I want to explain why for anybody who's wondering and thinking that the assets vanished and you can't participate. You have to progress to Prescott Starbase before you can unlock races in Cedo. We did that for a number of reasons. One, so that you're a bit higher level when you start doing races. And two, so that you're not distracted from the main mission and the tutorialization of the game throughout Cedo. So, and three, we also felt like it was weird when you first go to Charybdis Bowl, you have uh, Bang Jack who uh, he, imposes a uh, signal thing that stops you from leaving. Wow, uh, whatever that's called, terms, right? And then you would also have another robot that talked to at a race in the exact same instance, like basically for the first time, and that felt a little same-ish. So we also did that. That's, that. But mostly it's so that you're a higher level and also so that you're out of the uh, tutorialization. I'm gonna, you know, there's loose quotes there of the game through Cedo. Okay, so we're in Alcyone Station. There's no race gate. That means we need to get our butt over to Prescott Starbase in order to trigger Citizens of Velocity for the first time. If I recall, actually, you can basically go to, um, you can basically go to any of the races outside of Cedo and it will start Citizens of Velocity, but Prescott Starbase is kind of the intentional path forward that you would encounter first on your trail through the missions, if you will. And, and Torben also jumped in there to uh, add that clarity as well. Thank you. I do appreciate that, Torben. Um, just confirming that any race uh, will unlock the Cedo races once you find them. But uh, Prescott is kind of the intended First of all, a lot of air quotes today, apparently. So hope you're all watching so you know when I'm when I'm quoting. It's gonna be important, I guess. 
or not at all. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> all right. But uh, yeah, so we're going to head on over to Prescott Starbase as Windows Update pops up, of course, and is like, hey, you're in the middle of a stream. Great. Guess what? <laughs> all right. Prescott Starbase. Here we go. Hello there. So far as a recently evolved primate mind can experience it, I suppose. Let's just pick up the stuff, why not? All right. So, upon reaching Prescott, generally speaking, this will be the first race you get to again. I'm gonna put a lot of emphasis on that. You'll fly all the way down to the base of Prescott, the foundation near the generator, the big central structure, as well as the kind of the outside of this industrial territory. And that's where we're going to find our first raceway. Now, this ship is not optimized for racing. It's also at level 25, so it's kind of a, <clears throat> you know, whatever you want to call it. It's in a weird spot, but I'm going to do this race anyway to kick things off. And as we progress, um, after we start this race, we'll optimize our build just a little bit further uh, and you can kind of see the difference. So let's see what the side mission's all about. Bienvenue. Welcome to the new racing entertainment. Holy crap. Maurice, is that you? Oh, no. Please put me into hibernation mode during any exchange with this deranged bot. I simply cannot abide him. Ah, Adam. So nice to see a familiar face after all this time. Have you come to compete? Well, I guess I could try it out. But how come you are doing this now? What happened to your bounty hunting operation? Oh, la la. That is a long and complicated story. I can tell you, since you are such a share of me, but not right now. No, no. My competition will be quite easy for a man of your capacity. To win, you must simply make the course in record time and pass through the oops. Oops. The round things. I suggest you not use your real name there, as we will be streaming this to millions of racing fans throughout the Delta grades. This is how we make the prize money. I need an arm de guerre, eh? Okay, put me down as the infinite madman. Zoots a lore. A cryptic name if ever there was one. The infinite madman it is. And after you complete this, you may want to try my other racing challenges, now open in the Cedo system too. Beautiful, beautiful. So after you start Citizens of Velocity, we have this prompt that shows up and it indicates the times you need for the four different badges, trophies, whatever you want to call them. And in order to pass the Citizens of Velocity, all you have to do is finish the race at bronze or greater. That's all. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Oh, I should also mention before I start, um, all the dialogue that you hear during the course of the exchanges between Adam and Maurice, they're all text-to-speech intentionally because we don't have the voice work done for them yet. They will be fully voiced in both English and German at full release. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not going to try anything too super fancy. I mean, this ship isn't like crazy good at maneuvering or anything. But the overarching thing, and you guys, you guys have seen races during the streams before. Overarching thing is you want to try and keep your momentum as high as possible and go for that gold or, or platinum. Madam, that our alien friends, we have a winner. Victory lap. Sweet. So that's uh, race number one. So the another little pleasure that you guys will get out of this stream, just in case you are struggling to find any of the other races, I'm going to be directly showing all of them. So uh, yeah, 
I need to uh, go upwards. And we need to swap our ship around, because I would like to get just a, a little bit more optimization out of this. Now, I feel like for racing in particular, there are a couple ships that feel like they're going to be a bit better than others. It just kind of depends on what your flavor is. For me personally, I'm a big fan of the Vanguard, just because that speed is so good. Um, some people recommend the Striker because of the, uh, what, what's it do? It does, it does something. I can't remember. Uh, it goes faster or something whenever you boost. Uh, probably and then some people even like to go with the gunship because even though the speed looks like it's slower It can sometimes have a passive with 15% increased boost speed just kind of depends We did have to decrease that boost speed not for racing, uh, but for some other mechanics surrounding the gunship itself uh, It's meant to be a slower ship and uh, maybe we got a little excited putting it on the ship because of the uh, big old engines But we're happy with it being 15% so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go a middle ground here. Um, I still want a three plus. So we're going to go with this scout, I think. We're going to pick up this scout. Uh, let's go ahead and clear our inventory out a little bit. Some of you might notice uh, the equipment on here is going to look a little bit familiar. Um, because these are what we've been picking up from our rift runs. I suppose I could equip one of these just for funsies. Let's... Let's go ahead and do that. We'll keep Thundercore on. Uh, and we are going to purchase the Scout. Weapon range increase. That's really good. Shadow Strike can't be detecting mines. Gain five seconds. In that case, two Shadow Strikes. Let's try again. Hmm. We're going to go with the first one because I want that increased weapon range. I think that's going to be nice. So we're just going to buy and swap out. We're not doing any fanciful ship collecting for these streams. All right. And uh, last but not least, we're going to give ourselves a little bit of a style. Just a, It doesn't have to be anything crazy, but I, I want to. I want to. Actually, you know what? Let's just let's keep it simple. Let's get to the racing. Let's get to the racing, right? see if we've got recharge we do have recharge boosters yeah i want that recharge speed for racing so we're going to go ahead and buy this then we are going to modify it I'm just going to bring it up to speed what do we get all right i'll take it I mean, I'm certainly not going to not take it now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we'll go with that. For the time being, at least. So this will make things a little bit better. And let's head on to the next race. There's not really a particular order you're supposed to do the races in. So the next one we're going to do is probably the one closest to us which is over here at Ares Relay Station. Mm. I hope this year is coming to the conclusions that you desired, by the way. I hope that you are in good spirits for wrapping things up and ushering in a beautiful era of 2023. Over here at Rockfish, we are still hard at work to wrap up elements that need to be done by uh, end of year. But uh, we're pretty happy with what we've been able to bring to you guys, the conversations we've had, the feedback. It's been nice. It's been really good. All right, let's uh, clear things up a little bit because I don't want to deal with any enemies during the course of the race. Should have engaged these guys outside of range. What was I thinking? Gosh, that sound. Ugh. 
I really like the railgun sound. Okay, good. Easy mode, am I right? I'm not so much a um, long range player, but there's definitely a lot of sac satisfaction here for those who enjoy this style of play, that's for sure. All right. Let's get over here to the first race gate. Oh my gosh, look at all these mines. I would not like to be webbed in the middle of a race, no thank you. This is fine. All right. Race gate. Loophole. Here we go. Hey, Maurice. I'd like to try another race. My old friend. How nice to see you back. But, you gotta tell me. How come you gave up the bounty hunting? Alas, when my employers discovered my real activities, such as outsourcing my contracts to the likes of you. You were contracted by G and B right we when they found out the truth about me they were not too happy happy pleased they were not very pleased when they discovered the truth what truth was that maurice i cannot speak of it now no it is too painful ask me another time perhaps okay maurice let's do this race whoop whoop all right Trace Bond. Our contestant is away to a good start. Up. Oh, I forgot there were enemies in this one. Woo! Oh. Slowed down a little too much there, but I think we can still pull this one off. Yeah, we can. Awesome. Excellent. That recharge booster really came in a pinch. So, uh, see how fast that recharges? Oh my gosh. Recharge booster is phenomenal for racing just because it comes back. Even though it's acceleration and it's top speed, um, the speed gain, they're not as fast as some of the other options, but that recharge delay, can it can absolutely come in a pinch. Absolutely come in a pinch. I think it also helps that our boost output is insane here too. <laughs> so, all right. That's race number two. Let's head off to the other side of Union now. All the way over to uh, Zarkov Border Patrol. I th think it's this one. <laughs> I look over at chat and I see, remember when it was actually a garbage booster? Yeah, the recharge booster? Yeah, no, it, it's funny because like, Man, it was like several weeks I was evaluating different boosters and I was like, no, the recharge booster's okay. It's fine. It's, it's fine. And like the more I'm playing, it's like every time a recharge booster shows up, I'm like, nah, this isn't good. And then I realized, oh, we need to change this. <laughs> like, it's not, uh, it's not fine. It, if nobody is choosing it, that's a problem. So we uh, tweaked some of its features to bring it into the fold. And while you can still race with any of the boosters, um, it does kind of come down to like how well you optimize the spacing and your boost recharge. Like it's it's all very important to bring it together. But uh, yeah, recharge booster struggled there for a little bit. Had a had a nasty phase of being not fun. <laughs> All right, here we are to the race gate. With a little more of Maurice's story to boot. Here we go. Welcome back, Monimi. Hi, Maurice. Yeah, I'm here for another round. But I gotta press you on this. You lost your G&B bounty hunting contract. 
Was it because of the gaming thing? We, oui, because of the gaming thing. It was a Middle Ages kingdom simulation you were deeply immersed in. What was it called? Empires of Chivalry. Seal who played, don't say the name. It brings too much pain to me to hear it again. I'm sorry Maurice. I was just trying to find out what happened. I mean, happened. Another time, perhaps, as my art is heavy from the memory. I might follow up on it later. I have to say, I'm very curious. If you insist. How can I say none to an old damn me like you? And uh, just as a reminder, guys, like, uh, this is all spoiler territory. You you probably know that, but just, just mentioning that once again, we are going to be doing the whole Citizens of Velocity side quest. So if you don't want to know more, now is the time to kind of, like, dip out of the stream, okay? Because we're going to start cracking into some uh, interesting developments. All right, let's do this border crossing race. Trying to remember how this one loops around. Whew. Here we go. What, spoilers in a development stream? I know, right? Oh, also, I have a, I just realized I have screen shake off. I left it off. That's fine. This is fine, right? Do you guys want screen shake on to feel more immersed? Or do you care that I leave it off? Also, this is a great uh, space to use any sort of boosters and thrusters that you have down that line, because you are not restricted from using devices during the race, by the way. Energized boost is phenomenal right there, for example. All right, that's the third race. The third race. Now we're heading on to the next one. Your ship doesn't look like it has spoilers on it. Clever. Clever Overland Gamer. All right, I hear you. I hear you. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see, now it's time to head back to Cedo and complete those easy, easy races. We're gonna try and get five done. We're gonna get six done. We're gonna get the three from Cedo done and then we'll go and answer your questions that you have. Uh, Geekbot, I also see that, <laughs> I also see that you uh, you have a question for me. Just go ahead and, and put that into the mix as well. We'll, we'll get to it. It's a great question, I love it. We'll answer that in the section. All right. Oh, I can fast forward. Sorry, I was enjoying the music too much. My apologies. <laughs> All right. Let's get to that spatial bypass. Head on over to Cedo. Um, observation uh, about the teleporter and being used during the um, the races. If I recall, that's something that we ended up testing because we weren't sure if it was going to work or not, like if it would register the the ship hitbox, if you will, passing through the rings. Um, and I, I'm i pretty sure it does. I'm pretty sure it does. So, yeah. Sorry, I guess really like super light music. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So now we have this one opened up. As you saw at the beginning of the stream, this was not available to race at. So we had to trigger a race outside of Cedo in order to open the ones up in Cedo. Woo! All right, high voltage, 17 seconds. Let's get more of Maurice's story. Remember, spoiler territory, here we go. Hey, Maurice, set me up with a race. I'm feeling speedy. Certainly. 
Monami. You are making quite a name for yourself in these tournaments. But tell me, what happened, with the sim strategy game you were so addicted to? You added the nail on the eve. It was, I am ashamed to say, an addiction. There I was, top of the league table, the reigning lord of the server, the greatest king to have ever conquered the game. But, alas, I was administered a ban from the platform. A ban? How, Maurice? This sounds serious? No, it is too painful to speak about. I cannot. Some other time, perhaps. Well, I can see it's a sensitive topic. Maybe you'll feel like talking about it another time. Maybe. I'm also still looking over at the chat from time to time, and even though they're not questions, I do want to clarify a couple things just in the, you know, the conversations that are transpiring. Um, all of the ships should be more than capable of accomplishing the race times, especially to complete Citizens of Velocity, like easily getting bronze. Um, and we did a, quite a bit of extensive testing with these timings um, for, if we're being realistic, tier four level 30 ships, okay? So if you're still struggling, like you're, you're gold and you're like really going for that platinum because you just won it, you're just like, you have this completionist mindset even though it literally unlocks nothing inside of the game at all, but you just like have to have platinums on all the races, um, you know, just wait until full release because you'll be faster, stronger, you know, all that type of stuff. So, uh, but yeah, all right, let's uh, do high voltage. This one's this one's quick if I recall correctly. Oh yeah, this one's very straightforward. All right, we're restarting that race. We're restarting that race. So anytime that you are in the middle of the race, even like after concluding it, I got I got to fix that. That was that was bad. Um, you can restart the race. So like if you're in the middle of it, you miss a couple rings, or you uh, toggle your inertia dampeners to try and regenerate health or health regenerate boost energy uh, without slowing down, like what I just did, and you instead hit a wall. You can definitely uh, just restart. You immediately restart. So let's do a let's do a second attempt. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go in all his glory. There's not any real reason that I should be redoing this other than like, I just want to clear my name a little bit. Yeah, it, was, it was okay. All right. There we go. Awesome. So. Oh, oh, oh. I think it restarted the race there as a bug because I did it at the end of the last one. Oh my gosh, guys. Livestream bug that we get to catalog. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that great? Oh my goodness. Wow, that, that doesn't happen uh, very often anymore, but that's great. Hang on a second as I write this down. Didn't realize there's gonna be a Q&A stream, huh? All right. Sweet! Let's get on to the next race now. We got two more in Cito, and then we'll answer some questions. After those questions, then we're gonna pursue the other races. Be lots, lots of racing in the stream, guys. Lots of racing in the stream. We might break it up with a little bit of combat um, after the first question round. And then we'll, we will top off all the races in today's stream. Whether they're all platinum or not, it's, who knows? But uh, just make it sure you guys know. I look over and see rip collision damage in this game. Honestly, collision damage isn't too bad, um, at least from our testing. So long as your shield's up, you're not going to take too much collision damage. If your shield's gone, it it hurts. There's there's pain. <laughs> All right.
right, we got this race gate over here. Oh, 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 let's take out some foes before we get into the race. There we go. Beautiful destruction. All right, racing from the dead. This one, uh, this this race, just so you guys know, is like, I have like a personal vendetta against this racetrack because this has just, it can, oh gosh. It's just, let's just get into it. Next part of Maurice's story, here we go. Welcome back. You have undoubtedly come to try your luck at this racetrack. Maurice, the curiosity is killing me. What got you banned from empires of chivalry? You can tell me. Ah, uh, I suppose I must confide in someone eventually. But it is a tragic tale. I worked hard to get to the top position on the server. I devoted my every circuit to the expansion of my domain. I paid for every possible upgrade in expanding my castle and my estate. <laughs> There I was, finally, not to be bettered, or so I believed, until I was usurped from my position and my kingdom ransacked. By another player? We. Oui. He went by a strange name, Ross Adamski. He was very determined. Weird name. It is a name that still stirs the wrath inside me. I can speak no more at this time. I am becoming emotional. All right. Racing from the dead. Here we go. Let's see if I can do the rotations correctly this time. Last time I kind of bested myself in attempting to try to, oh, nope, I messed up. Oh well, it's fine. We still got it, barely, oh barely. Holy cow, that was close. But I'll take it, I'll take it. Yeah, this race in particular, uh, whoo, man. So whenever we were testing all of the races to make sure they were doable um, for all the different ship variants, a uh, couple things to note. Um, it's actually kind of easier in the lesser tier ships because their hitboxes are smaller and it's absolutely easier from a perspective of not running into things uh, with the light ships uh, predominantly. When you go into the heavies, you know, the, they're a bit more slippery. They're, you gotta practice a bit more to make sure that you've got your timings and your uh, controls down. They're still very much doable, guys. They're, they're very much doable. But uh, it's, uh, gets challenging. It gets challenging the larger your ship is. In most cases, there's some exceptions. And I'm sure you guys will find plenty of exceptions too. Because, you know, if you guys enjoy a certain ship and you're good at flying it, it would make sense that it would produce the best results in racing as well. At least at first. It's good stuff. All right, so we're heading on over to this next race. This is Cryptus Bulls race. When we're done with this one, we'll answer those questions you all have been asking. I also see uh, a comment from Goof Guy, a, a bit of praise over on Twitch. Very kind words. I kind of want to read this out loud. That sounds kind of like self-flattering, um, but but Goof Guy, Goof Guy, no, that uh, we really appreciate that praise just as much as we appreciate the feedbacks and the criticism for our game, and I'm really glad that. You're enjoying what we've produced, and I'm excited that you're, uh, wow, you're really big into space games. That's awesome. So thank you so much for coming into the stream and just giving us some praise on that front. Stick around if you'd like. You can ask questions. This is a, uh, it's a community stream. It's entirely designed around you guys, showcasing what we've been up to, answering questions, having fun. Uh, so it's, uh, it's all good. It's very cool. Very cool. All right. Scrap race. Welcome. Monami, to the next racetrack. Hey, Maurice, old buddy. I have to say, I really want to get to the bottom of your story. 
what happened after your kingdom was looted. Ah, you want to bring back up more painful memories. Consider it free therapy. Besides, we've known each other long enough for there to be no secrets. Okay, well, I took the loss personally. I spent much time trying to best this pretender, to no avail. And then I realized I had another means at my disposal. What? Wait. Oh, no. You didn't. We, oui, I did. All I had to do was create a contract for his elimination. <laughs> Savage. Holy scrap, Maurice. You really let the game cross over into reality. Well, who is to say that we are not the simulation and the kingdom I built the reality? Okay, you might have a point there, but philosophy was never my strong point. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, let's uh, get into the scrap race, complete it. We'll take a quick breather from races and answer your questions. And then we'll wrap up this uh, side mission. Madman is on his way to possible victory. Whoop, oh, doing a lot of side boosting. Can sometimes prove to be deadly if you're not careful. Now, guys, I'm also not doing these races, like, super optimized or anything. I've done these races a lot. Like, I've assisted in the timings for them and the spacings for them. So, like, if you're looking at this being like, oh, my gosh, you're, you're so skilled. I'm, it, it's just a lot of experience. A lot of you guys have done incredibly faster times than this. I shouldn't say a lot. But there are those out there who have been optimizing race times. And it's pretty cool to see uh, what our communities come up with. So, um... Yeah, I imagine in the future we'll have some community challenges surrounding races. So definitely keep that in mind. But otherwise, yeah, there we go. That was race number six. From here, I'm going to start heading to the next race. And in doing so, while we're doing so, let's answer some of those questions you've been more than patient uh, on uh, waiting for. So Geekbite, are you there? Good evening, good evening everyone. How are you all? Uh, yes, we've got a few that you... Uh, Keen answers, uh, okay. if you could supply them. Absolutely, oh, absolutely. Uh, first off, it's a bit of an origin story, this one. Um, 3D World uh, on YouTube wants to know, why are you called Rockfish Games? Oh my gosh, what a question. <laughs> um, so this this dates back, uh, Michael should be the one telling the story because it's really his reasoning. Um, but the long and the short of it is that um, it's a, a rockfish is a creature that is very strong and, and lasts through um, the gravest of situations. And through Michael's perseverance and excellence uh, in incredibly trying events and situations, he was able to ensure that he and key members of his invaluable team that he's had for a very large amount of time. Like he's been in the gaming industry for 25 plus years now. Um, in order to, to like scrap all of that up and to salvage it, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't super crazy challenging for him because he's so robust, because he's so determined and because you can't break his resolve like a rockfish. And so rockfish is very much uh, the naming convention that was chosen for that regard. Um, especially if you know the full story of how Rockfish was kind of formed. Um, which again, that goes into another story that Michael should also share. But the, the, the super long story short on that front is that he was effectively fired. Um, and then he was like, well, screw you guys anyway, uh, because they wanted to do microtransactions and he didn't want to do that. He wanted a premium model. And so he broke away from that, uh, lost his IP that he'd created, lost all the funding through that company. And instead was like, you know what? I'm going to start my own with the P team I trust. And Rockfish Games was born with his own money. And then he facilitated the growth and creation of Everspace One through a Kickstarter that many of you guys out there supported us with. So, uh, let's, uh, we're gonna start heading over to Kite Nebula next as we continue answering questions. Excellent, excellent. Uh, Flory on Twitch 
uh, wants to know, will there be races where enemies and traps like web mines are part of the races? We originally wanted to do that. And the more we were doing the races, the less good it felt. So, um, so ironically enough, come on, so I can finally say, I told you so. Yes. Very good. Um, so we're actually going to the, the next race we're going to here actually has a couple of those said impediments. Uh, there's the jellyfish that are actually in the way of the track. And uh, while you're racing or before you race, you have to clear them out. Um, and there's also like turrets that fire on you in certain races, uh, especially the one in Union that you probably saw earlier in the stream. So we made them and at, over time, we actually kind of reduced some of those challenges back because we want the focus to be on racing and not to have to like necessarily be an obstacle course. It's a good question. It's a good question. Next one. And next up is Fred, uh, sorry, Fred Speckvet over on YouTube. Uh, is there anything new that you can tell us regarding ancient rifts that's been discussed with the team? Not at this time. Nope. Nope. Uh, right now, the continued official response is that the rifts are in a pretty decent place. We're, we're happy with where they are at, with how testing has been going, how the reception has been. Um, and there's more to come. There will be more that shows up in the rift. So more that shows up surrounding the rift and all of that stuff. Next question, please. Next question. Um, this has come from Bearded Frog. It's more of a request because you're doing the races. Um, they want to know if you will uh, Gunship revisit inertia the dampeners. challenge. <laughs> yeah, that was the first person mode on the bomber. <laughs> Why do you torture me? Um, we might be able to do that if there's time. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Uh, Wizard Jerry on YouTube uh, is asking, Maurice was playing Empires of Chivalry. Does this name have some origin behind it? No, it's just a fictitious game that we created from an amalgamation of cash grab mobile games. That's all. <laughs> Next question. Right, uh, this one's a, a kind of a two-parter from T3Cube on Twitch. So, um, yeah, I, I think you're going to be uh, thinking on this one. Right, first part is, are the rifts supposed to be designed for you to be able to complete them with handicaps, like no shield or armor? I mean, not necessarily. It's, 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 that's a particular question because the way that rifts are entirely established is to challenge players. And certain players already have enough of a challenge with where rifts are at. Um, and, but the, the greatest majority of our player base seems to have a solid uh, solution to getting rifts surrounding about 400 to 600, that territory. Um, that key spot of 500, we're very happy with how that's been aligned with you guys and how you've been receiving the rifts and what you've been doing and your build surrounding it. And of course, we've got those all-star players who are doing 1,000 lunacy rifts without shields or armor, or, you know, all the all the tricks and the, the trades. That's awesome, you know, that's great. Highlight that, show us. It's, it's wonderful. We've had a couple of individuals doing that in the Discord and every time those feats of strength are impressive. We on the dev team look at that and go, but why? And that's, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's it's great. Uh, but the only reward is just going to be accomplishing it for yourself. We're not going to be doing any sort of specialty rewards for, for that type of stuff. We'll certainly probably give recognition to the outstanding users who accomplish these feats. But again, it's there's not going to be any sort of added benefits to, to accomplishing uh, that. Similarly to like all the best racers like again it's it's more of like that bragging rights territory um as opposed to to anything else so yeah if you can pull it off that's amazing that's that's freaking awesome uh but i i don't think that's any small feat and even watching the video that you shared it's clear that you had to do a couple of attempts and you had to be very precise in your usage of your particular build to bring it all together and that is very much working as intended all right, next question. Uh, cool, like this is uh, the kind of a little follow up to that and I think you probably answered it anyway, but uh, does game testing involve checking to see if it's possible uh, to do the risk on all ships? Uh, my current understanding of the game and your vision is that you want the player to use any means, excluding game breaking bugs, to make themselves stronger. 
or more challenging with player introduced handicaps like your shield or armor. Correct. I mean, for the most part, we are trying to design the rifts around the notion of flexibility, meaning, much like you spoke on, allowing as much player agency as possible to overcome them. So if you have a particular ship that you enjoy, a particular weapon, a particular device, you should be able to use them to a certain degree uh, in order to complete high lunacy rifts, in fact. Uh, that being said, there is a lot to speak on towards optimizing a loadout, optimizing a build. So if you're just slapping a bunch of random stuff together, it's gonna to be hard to even beat, say, Lunacy 400 during a live stream. So uh, it is important to you know take care in how you're approaching them. Um, and yeah. Also note that the feedback we've been receiving on the rifts, both from a level of enjoyment and also from a level of frustration are being cataloged. There are certain things that we have noticed that uh, are almost like necessary in order to complete high rifts. I'm not pointing at anything specific on the screen right now for any reason whatsoever. Um, there may or may not be balances, okay? There may or may not be balances surrounding this. At this, like just, just note that these high level rifts, these are designed for your enjoyment to challenge you. It's, we're not trying to like perfectly balance all the different lunacies of rifts so that they are the pinnacle of everything the culmination if you will uh but they should be dang hard they should definitely be dang hard and as of right now and the feedback we've received from a standpoint of where the build is at where you get to level 25 we are pleasantly pleased with the results thereof we'll see what else happens in the future oh, oh that was that was very subtle with play it's uh, very subtle <laughs> <laughs> uh, Darth Trethon over on YouTube would like to know, uh, can we own more than one ship and have setups saved for any ship other than the one we currently pilot? You can save multiple ships. Um, they are stored in the home base, which you can get back to fairly quickly with the spatial bypass being present there. Um, as far as saving loadouts, every single equipment slot is different from ship to ship. So you could have an entirely differently kitted ship than what you're currently flying. We have had some discussions internally about like saving specific loadouts. And guys, I just wanna make sure that you guys understand this. You know, we are very transparent on all things when it comes to development. Um, we do think it would be nice to have like interchangeable loadouts that you can like click a button and it sets up, you know, whatever. There are a number of technical elements that have made that very challenging for us to rig into the game. So it's not likely we will have a loadout selector tool thing whenever you're swapping machine ships. You're gonna have to manually select and adjust uh, the various elements. And this includes stuff like the perks and the devices and, and all of that uh, surrounding you. You have to manually do that when you swap ships around. I know that that's not an answer that you guys like to hear and it's less than ideal if you want to like quickly change between play styles. Uh, but do note that uh, from that level of development with the number of team members we have, the finances, the technical limitations, it's not likely that will happen. Ah! Mm, mm. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, cool, cool. Uh, right, Dominic Troy, uh, still on YouTube. Uh, he's struggling a little bit with some of the location challenges. They can't seem to find more than two in Union and in Cito, Drake, etc. Uh, they can find only one. Are they missing something? The location challenges? Okay, so, um, well, shoot, this isn't going to be a good example because they're all done here. But um, basically, all these locations that have check marks on them, these used to be little pips inside of a box. I don't think I have, yeah, I think they're all done in this particular save. Um, but if you see a little, if you see a little box inside of the big box, that means there's a location challenge there, and it hasn't been completed yet. When you complete it, it turns into that check mark. This has nothing to do with this percentage. That check mark has nothing to do with the percentage. The check mark is about the location challenge. If it is a much more filled box, like something like Rodia Orbit or um, Rodia itself. Those are established places that do not 
have a location challenge and are generally larger areas to explore. So there's probably more secrets uh, surrounding them than these smaller location challenge sites. Hopefully that helps you figure out maybe what you have left and where you need to be going. Because if you look around your map and you see a little pip like this, wait, have I not? Why is that? Oh, it's just because we're there. Okay. Uh, but yeah, if you see a, a little pip, uh, that means you have not completed the location challenge yet. Well, I think they were thoroughly happy with that answer. They've just cool. realized that, oh, I am I'm silly. No, 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 <laughs> you're not silly. I mean, there's not really anything in the game that exp explains that UI element. We designed the UI around it, um, but we're still working on little tidbits and details to help tutorialize the game space so that you have a better understanding of it. So it's a great question. It's a fantastic question. I'm happy to help you uh, have that understanding and I'm glad it clicked immediately so that you can get on and enjoy the game in the way that you would like. It's good stuff. All right, uh, Wizard Jerry on YouTube uh, wants to know, uh, will Maurice show up after completing this set of side missions? <laughs> Maybe. I, su I suppose it's possible. <laughs> I mean, I'm asking story questions of the future, I mean, my response is going to be one of two things. No, or maybe. And it could be either. <laughs> could be no or maybe. Straight face. So, yeah. Uh, probably a, a very similar kind of um, potential spoilery question, but it's from Finn on YouTube. Is Ross Adamski a clone of Adam Roslin, who is, was not the protagonist of Everspace 2? Guys, I'm going to let you figure that out. <laughs> there were, how many clones were able to escape the, the loop, the cycle from Everspace 1? I don't know. I don't know what it is canonically. Could be five, could be 50. 500? Who knows? 5,000? I'm not sure. Is it possible? Sure. Is it the case? I don't know. Excellent. Right. Uh, got another question coming in, but we'll hold that over until part two. What was that question? Uh, I've got a, a very large question from T3 Cube. Um, I was going to hold over for oh, part oh. two. Got it, got it. Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's get into this race. <coughs> Akrat Roller Coaster. And also more story. More story spoilers, speak! The racing. Hey, Maurice. I got to follow up on your story. You put a hit out on this Ross Adams we got. You can't leave me hanging there. I suppose. Well, I put out an it on this pretender to my throne. However, I was, how you say, Rumble. Rumble? Ow. I mean, how so, Maurice? The moderators discovered my plans and I was given a lifetime ban. My kingdom. Obliterated from the server. Wow, and after you put so much work into it. I'm sorry, Maurice. Now, please. Join the race or leave me be. I need a moment to compose myself. Obliterated from a lifetime ban. Ugh. Okay, so this particular race has a unique element to it, which is right there. That thing is going to throw us forward really super fast. So I might have to restart this race real quick. <laughs> we'll see. Sometimes hard to pull off. It's important to get the alignment. Oh gosh. Yeah, we're gonna restart the race. But any sudden movements can be disastrous. <sighs> All right, tip number two. We might do this one a couple times. We might do this one a couple times. Hopefully it won't take too long. All right, I, I lost the extra boost and I, uh, all right, whatever. It should still be doable in this state. Look at all these enemies being punks. I'm racing here. Right there, we did a very simple um, 
turning off inertia dampeners to maintain momentum trick so that we could recharge our booster. Some of the longer races definitely recommend doing so because it gives you just an extra little bit to uh, bring things to, oh gosh, we got stuck by the Hydra anemone. Where am I going? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Can we still make platinum with this mess? Ah, it's, guess we'll find out. Ah, uh, it's gonna happen again. It's gonna, yeah, get through, yes. All right, uh, I don't think we're gonna make platinum. That's fine, we're, we'll just get gold on this one. It's fine. If we even make gold at this point, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm not boosting. <laughs> Pro tip, in order to win races, one needs to boost. But not quite record time, eh? I won't settle for average. You will today, Adam. You will today. All right, let's keep going. I wanna, I wanna make sure that we have enough time to conclude all the stuffs that are going on here. Uh, so that's the only race actually in all of Kite Nebula. So now we need to head on over to Zarkov for what I think is probably the hardest race. And then we'll go uh, explore some more in the Drake system to round off all of the races. Wait, did I miss a race? No, we're good. And up to the gas field, which is conveniently the location of the next race. The convenience of spatial bypass travel. This could catch on. All right. Also, you guys maybe probably noticed this a little bit, but uh, whenever I'm doing the races, I don't like to use devices because um, I just don't. That's not what I like to do. Um, you absolutely can, though. And depending on how good you get with device usage and timings, some of you guys are out there are freaking insane. You could probably use devices to your advantage to score some insanely fast race times. I haven't seen any yet, but uh, I definitely think that's possible. All right. Let's get this story going. Ah, uh, Adam, you have returned for another race. Yes, I have. But, um, before we do any racing, I'm still trying to put together the pieces of your story. Ah, uh, you wish me to revisit the most terrible chapter in my life. It's good to talk about it. It might help you come to terms with it a little more. It's true. Decor. There I was, banned for eternity from the game which had been my passion for so long. I was in a terrible place. I was lost. There do. Go on. I had a hole in me where gaming used to be, and to try fill it, I resorted to desperate levels. Poor I rented myself out to robot tossing contests, android death karaoke. I debased myself no end. Wow, that must have been a real low point. Sorry to hear it. I shouldn't laugh at that. I'm sorry. Oh. Did I mention we had fun writing these? If you're not having fun with the story, what are you doing? All right. I can't remember the alignment and how to start this, so I might do two attempts on this because I, I, this is a very challenging one. Um, let me see if I can. What a great start formidable oh. if he can keep this up he will win for certain ah, i'm touching too much i'm touching too much nope i don't think i'm gonna platinum this ah <laughs> no there's no way no way fantastique the infinite madman wins with the best record all right Okay. I wasn't I wasn't expecting that. I legitimately thought I failed well. Um okay. All right. Well, there you go. I I legitimately think that's the hardest one, um especially if you're in a heavy ship. 
um, in particular, because that that uh, there's a, like it loops downwards, it loops downwards that whole race, and in that spiral you have to know where you're going. Like you have to have some semblance of the direction you need to take. And also note that I kind of did a, I, for me at least, I like to flip upside down when doing this race. So like if you saw me on that, like, oh, this is the wrong side. So like whenever we started this race, I started like this. And we felt it an incredibly necessary component that when you are waiting for the timer to start, you can hold the boost, you can rotate your ship, you can get things aligned to the way that you want to kick things off. That way you're not restricted from the exact same output like it was when we first introduced racing. We fixed that. We fixed that because we wanted to make it uh, more precise in regards to timings and make it a little bit more fair across the board. Um, I'm really happy with that, holy crap. Uh, sincerely, was not expecting to pull it off. So yeah. If that one's a race that like is really eating you away, just know I've been there too. It's okay. I know like, again, I've done these races a lot. So you're going to see a lot of golds and platinums during the course of the stream. Um, it's just because like, I'm even one who was testing the races to see their achievability at the certain times. Okay. Um, and yeah, maybe I even had a huge impact on why the times were chosen. Anyway, so now that we've gotten Zarkov done, we've got two races left. At least I think so. Yep, we got two races left. Look at that. Ugh. Mm. Oh, I don't like looking at that like that. Oh, maybe I do need to go back. Wait, we missed a ring? That's why! What ring did we miss? Oh, now I'm gonna have to go back and do that one. Guys, I can't. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. All right, anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and head on over to uh, Drake, and we're gonna top off the races. <laughs> I can't believe that! I missed a ring! Ugh. All right, that makes so much sense. That makes so much sense. Ah. Whenever you miss a ring in a race, it adds 10 seconds to your timer. Absolutely savage. Who designed it like that? I don't know. Torben. <laughs> I don't know if it was actually Torben. Uh, for the record, so not uh, throwing anyone under the bus. <laughs> But regardless, we did want there to be a ramification for missing rings aside from uh, not being able to uh, have the joy of collecting all the rings. We, we did feel like there needed to be a timing impediment. Also, I love all the new chatters we're having today. It's wonderful. So welcome on in. Um, whenever you're asking your questions so that you are aware, uh, they are being cataloged and they will be received at a key interval during the stream. So I'll answer a slew of your questions if you've got them um, and deliver the goods at a point in time in the future that is near. All right. So we're going to finish off these two races and I'm going to resist the urge, but probably not to go back and get platinum on that last race. Hardcore race mode, miss a ring, self-destruct. Oh my gosh. I love that idea. Um, <laughs> better yet, miss a ring, deletes your save file. <laughs> Iron Man races. Oh goodness. All right. This one is called Course Carnage. Mmm. Delightful. More story, Maurice. Give it to me. Welcome back, Monami. Hi, Maurice. I wanted to pick up on your story where you left off. You were hiring yourself out as a kind of gaming gimp. Merci, Adam. Just what I needed. A reminder of the worst time in my life. But it doesn't end there, of course. At this juncture in my sad tale, destitute, I was salvaged by some freelancers who sold me onto a certain mature Kato. Oh, yeah? He treated me well. Trace sympathique. He realized my potential. He suggested I find a new game, and he could make it happen. So he set up these race courses for you? It is a mutually beneficial arrangement. He screens the races at his casinos and makes a killing from the bookmaking. I get to create the greatest game in the belt to grades. So happy for Maurice. He found his way after a permanent ban. Ugh. 
crazy. All right, let's do Course Carnage. This is the first of the longer the tracks. Begins. Go, go, go. I mean, I say that, and the one in Kite Nebula is technically longer, but I digress. This one kind of tests your patience. Especially when you start going a bit faster. Ah, I lost momentum. How dare I? How dare I shift around? Oh, I lost a, I lost a lot of momentum there. Ouch. But this one's looking pretty good for a platinum at this time. Even with all these little uh, boost conclusions, gaps, whatever you want to call them, still pretty sure we're going to nail this one. Yep, there we go. So yeah, there is a little bit of, a little bit of flexibility surrounding these times. And while they were designed around level 25, um, we do want to make sure that, you know, we have the satisfaction of, of completing these missions, especially whenever you get up to level 30. It's likely that some of the times will be further adjust, adjusted, okay? It's likely. Um, and uh, we'll see what that looks like in the future when we get there. But for now, uh, yeah, feels pretty good, feels pretty decent. One more course to go, which is the sort of gauntlet course. I can't remember if it's a, the second claim or the first claim. <laughs> it's one of the two Alpha Draco claims. We'll get there, we'll fly through. If it's not here, then we'll just go to the other one real quick. <laughs> and then, uh, guys, like I said, once we're done uh, topping off this race, maybe maybe we'll try Kate Nebula one more time. It's it's, it's burning. Oh my gosh! It's just, uh, maybe we'll go back and try one more time, and uh, then we'll get into answering questions. Passing by distress calls for shame. I know, right? Actually, I love doing the distress calls and the unknown signals, especially after we've added some more and are continuing to tweak them in other ways that I can't talk about yet. Um, so it's pretty nut. It's pretty fun. Wait, so I don't see... Wait, is it Draco Claim 1? Oh, no. Oh, no. Did I go to the wrong place? Did I not... Did I not remembering... Hang on a second. Is this the one with the base? No, I think it is. I think it is the first one, isn't it? I went to the wrong spot? Oh my gosh. Did I go to the wrong spot? Yeah, I don't think this place has the base. I think we went to the wrong spot. Okay. Let's try, try that again. You know what? Uh, you know, we totally uh, warped in over here, guys. That's uh, what we did. <clears throat> and there it is, just like I said. Pfft. Just like I told you guys. Uh, fun fact, uh, recently did an evaluation of the streams and I have never made a single mistake in my life, let alone during the course of these streams. Uh, pretty interesting results. Uh, I think that it's incredibly not biased whatsoever and uh, super cool to know. Anyway, let's go ahead and start up this race. This one's called Hell Ride, and it's a doozy. If I were smart, I would go clear the pathway forward so that we don't get annihilated. If I were smart. All right, Maurice, give us the deets. Welcome back, Monami. Hey, Maurice. I think I got all caught up with your story now, but you didn't tell me. Are you happy? As happy as ever, Monami. Thank you for asking. And Monsieur Cato is looking after you? He gave me new purpose. I am indebted to him. I gotta ask one more thing. Even though you're no longer immersed in empires of chivalry, how come you retained the French accent? 
If something is not broken, why fix it? Yes! Aha. Uh -huh. Nice. Morris. You keep being you. I love it. And you. You. Monami. This goes without saying. The story is over. Can we stop talking to him forever now, please? <laughs> ah, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Uh, I do see that there's a lot of you guys who are wanting me to do the uh, other challenge and try to get platinum, so uh, I'll probably go back and do it. Uh, strap in. This one's a bit of a ride. Here we go. It's possible I might even die through this course. Uh, let's find out. There's a lot of segments that are uh, just tricky. Just tricky. Oh my gosh. I wasn't expecting that to actually hit me. Uh, shame on me. How dare I? Oh! Not super well optimized here, but, um, you know, sometimes that's okay. Oh, here we go. Like a glove! Is somebody shooting at me? I can't quite tell. I'm trying to... All right, there we go. Oh, you, you came into the race to follow? Oh my gosh, I can't even be mad at that. Okay, ouch. Something burning, all right. I'm doing a lot of shifting uh, maneuvers that are not ideal in this particular race, uh, but there is a bit more flexibility on this one than the others, I think, just because it's kind of a test of fortitude, if you will. Endurance is probably a better term. And there's definitely a lot of room to use devices. But again, I, I don't I, I don't want to do those for the purposes of just showing you the races. We're getting there, we're getting there. Uh, oh, forgot to turn. <laughs> okay, we might not get platinum. Uh, we're, we're decently close. I think, well, I think we'll be okay. I like how I mentioned that, you know, we added more flexibility on this course and then, uh, Suddenly, timer. Think we're gonna be okay. There we go. You have done it, Monami. You have completed all the racetracks. I congratulate you. Felicitations. Of course, you can always return and try to better your performance. These will always be available to you. Cool. This was fun. And great working with you again, Maurice. Mutually so. We certainly. Beautiful. So that's the conclusion of Citizens of Velocity. And again, I do want to just state for the record, the way to complete it is not by getting all platinums. It's not by getting all golds. It's not by getting all silvers. You only merely need to achieve the bronze level on all 10 races scattered around the game space, which I've shown you the locations of all 10 during the course of the stream. So don't think that you have to like super grind out this incredibly intense uh, racing strategy to complete the side mission. The side mission should be done in a fairly relatively easy state for you all. Um, at least that's what we've kind of concluded thus far. But we still wanted to have that added challenge, right? So that's why we've got so much more uh, on top of it. So all that being said, I am gonna start heading back to the Kite Nebula to see if I can uh, best my gold into uh, a platinum while we are traveling there um, and, and whatnot. Let's go ahead and answer some more questions. Right. Uh... Bit of a doozy from T3 Cube on Twitch. Uh, just regarding, has there been a decision made on being able to unlock all devices or having to reset devices to upgrade other devices? 
Uh, the reason why they don't particularly switch ships is because some of their other builds require other devices which are not fully upgradable uh, but just have to go through the whole downgrade and re-upgrading other devices. Yes. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Can I also just mention how much I love my job? All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> so just to clarify, there has been a decision made. <laughs> yep. <laughs> right. I, moving on. Uh, Super Scrapper on Twitch uh, is uh, just asking, out of curiosity, uh, do you guys do any data collection about the control styles used? Uh, they're very curious about how many people use keyboard and mouse versus controllers. And they'd like oh. to see a breakdown of which controllers were used, if that was a possibility. So, yeah, we, we actually do have data collection on that front, but it's it changes a, a bit. And, it's, of course, it's also going to change, you know, when we hit the 1.0 release and there's going to be some consoles that probably only have controller support. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, we, we do have that style of data getting collected. The player base is very much dominating on the front of mouse and keyboard. I don't have the stats pulled up with me right here, right now. I think, if I recall correctly, it's somewhere around like a 75 to 80% mouse and keyboard usage versus a 20 uh, to 25% uh, controller usage. And also note that in that controller territory includes elements like HOTAS, HOSAS, uh, all of that stuff as well. <clears throat> so... It's a pretty wide breadth uh, and difference. Um, but again, I don't have the official numbers. I'm not staring at them on my screen. I know that that was something that's come up in previous conversations that I've had with like Michael and the team about like what we are, uh, what we are trying to cultivate for the game space. And we do highly recommend playing with mouse and keyboard. For those of you who love playing with controllers though, that's why we have the option. For those who want to make it a more immersive experience, that's why we have HOTAS and HOSAS and, you know, all of these different uh, input options, uh, you know, to, to go in here and, and select your presets. Like, there's a lot here. So we've, we've taken the time and the energy to incorporate those because we love you and we want you to have those options. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, beyond that, if you want to get super crazy with playing on a dance pad or... Uh, you know, whatever, guitar, hero, guitar, whatever, you know, the world is yours and, and have fun. But yeah, vast majority play with mouse and keyboard. Unscathed. Who knows what havoc okay. this is doing to your uh, The only other question that did crop up um, was from Chiggy and Biffy over on YouTube. And okay. they're asking about some info uh, regarding Steam Deck compatibility. I did kind of answer it and say that it's in a playable state currently. Yep. Um, uh, officially, and then it will be optimized closer to 1.0 release. Yeah, so uh, so two things on that front. First off, we're surprised at how well Everspace 2 has been holding up on the Steam Deck because we don't officially support the Steam Deck at this time. Uh, and I want to be clear with those words on this front because, you know, we've, we've said that we want to pursue that. I don't know if we actually have an official... I don't know if we've said anything official on that front, so I technically can't say, yes, we're doing this, and no, we're not. Um, but we have done, like we've done optimization passes and have used the Steam Deck to see how that's been going. So yeah, I know that kind of, like it's kind of telling what the official response would be regarding the Steam Deck, but guys just know that like, uh, we think it's pretty cool. We think it's pretty fun that you can play uh, Everspace 2. It, on, on the Steam Deck, it's, it's awesome. So hopefully we'll have more support on that front in the future, right? That would be pretty dope, wouldn't it? All right, any any more, is that the last one? Last, last that was question? it, yeah, okay. we just had the three. Yep. Awesome, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try the Akrat roller coaster. Watch me, watch the, the 40 minutes of the rest of the stream just be me doing this race over and over. And there you go. <sighs> Flying like an eagle, but in space. <laughs> a space eagle. Oh, Marie. Wait a second! Wait a... Wait a second. I see no oops there. Disqualify. What? 
Wait a second. try that again i i missed the ring through the boost am i moving too fast am i having the fps issue that we had identified that i thought we addressed out of the starting point hang on a second interesting no no i like go <laughs> i'm racing here oh my gosh let's uh let's do this a couple more times maybe i'm just gonna need to take it slow Maybe I'm just gonna have to take it slow, even though I really don't want to. Maybe my alignment's also off a little bit. Oh my gosh! All right, that was. <laughs> it's an Alec. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> Try this again. <clears throat> Uh, so I said FPS issue, uh, and some of you guys probably a little bit curious what that means. So basically, um, we've discovered that there are certain, um, how to put it, interactions in the game that register at different intervals based on your, um, your frames. Like legitimately the in-game uh, recognition of like where your ship is at, for example, um, can actually vary depending on your frame rate. Now, this is something that we've addressed a number of times and we will continue to do so because that is definitely a lame uh, bug. It's 100% a bug. Uh, uh, all right, we're just gonna, we're gonna go with this one. We're just gonna go with this one. Um, and uh, basically the, the short of it is that we want to make it to where regardless of how many frames you're playing the game in, all interactions remain the same throughout. This also uh, has been a bug in weaponry uses as well, so you're aware. So like, in some cases, like if you used a, I don't know, an auto cannon, for example. Oh no, oh no. Um, <clears throat> you could actually have um, your shots not register if you were operating at uh, a lower frame rate. I, that, that, that sucks. That, that super sucks and no, but nobody likes that. So we are going to attempt to uh, remove that. I think I'm technically flying the course upside down now. I can't, I think we got it. I think we got this. Oh yeah. Platinum's all around. Felicitation is to let infinite madman on his great success. I'm not one for speeches, but thanks. Excellent. Excellent. So that concludes all the races at Platinum. And guys, remember, like it's like the data surrounding these races, you know, it's somewhat finalized. Uh, we could go back and we could tweak these things. Times are not set in stone, just so that you guys are aware. Um, also, let me, let me get my face out of the way. If you guys want to take a screenshot and like, challenge my times like sure go ahead I, I i don't care if that's if that if that's what you would like to do by all means um so take a screenshot now do it do it if that's the type of person you are and you want to just challenge yourself nice uh but otherwise yeah uh we absolutely designed these to be quite doable um again from a perspective of every single ship that is in the game some races are more challenging than others with certain types of ships. This is, this is just how it works. So uh, are there like meta speed builds out there? Yeah, there kind of are. Um, that's not necessarily our intent, but man, if you want to go ham and get the fastest times out there, by all means, go for it. You're gonna want to look for specific types of thrusters, cargo units. Um, you're probably gonna have a preferred ship. Um, there's a couple other tricks out there floating about and there might be more in the future. Also note that whenever you do catalog a score, it does show what type of ship you used. Just an added little feature that was requested from you guys and we thought, eh, you know what? That would be nice, that would be fun. So yeah, the different ships are all here. So we did this with Scout on all of them. And then this one, that's the Interceptor that we did at Prescott. There you go. So, yep, neat. 
And also, if you ever wanted to be like, oh man, where was that at again? I don't know if you know this, but there's a there's a show on map button. So like, if you were like, oh man, I can't remember where a loophole was at, you press R button and it takes you to that location. Boom. Isn't that convenient? Isn't that nice? There you go. Cool. So now guys, we get to hang out, have a good time. I'll answer some more questions as we start leading up to uh, this more community styled segment, which always is at the end of the streams. We love to uh, answer your questions. We love to engage with you, all of that fun stuff. So I'm going to pick some fights in Union. Uh, or wait, where am I at? Oh yeah, we're over here in Kaid. I don't really want to pick some fights in Kaid. Uh, so we are going to head back somewhere else. Maybe we'll go to Drake. And uh, we're gonna do some combat. I don't, we don't necessarily have time for a rift. I'm not gonna throw myself at one, I don't think. Um, and let's just hang out, let's have a good time. It's Friday, I'm feeling good. I hope you guys are too. It's been a pretty good week over here at Rockfish for the record. We've made a lot of progress on uh, story and lore and missions. A lot of that behind the scenes stuff. Uh, for those eagle-eyed viewers, you may have noticed a little bit of a change on a certain screen that I've been uh, going through in uh, the game. There are additions and changes on this dev build that I can't talk about yet. But that being said, there's been a lot of healthy and good progress getting us towards that 1.0 release. Uh, yeah, I want to go to Drake. Let's go over to Drake. So, while I'm doing this flying around Geek Bite, if you have any catalogs questions and you want to shoot them over to me, please do so. Um, otherwise, I'm also going to be just following the chats. And I'll just try and answer and converse with you all. So nothing at the moment. Nothing okay. at the moment. Cool. If you're making progress, you're doing it all wrong. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Apart from the reminder about the bomber challenge. <clears throat> oh my god. Why? What? Why? Why? Let's go see if there's any bombers at Letho Starport. Which race? Which race is the the desired bomber run? If it's if it's racing from the dead, the answer is no. I'm just <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to submit myself to such pain and suffering. <laughs> but what what do you what do you guys want? How would you like to? Put me in a state of pain today. <laughs> oh my gosh. You don't care which? Oh. Zarkov? No. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, uh, guys. Oh, look at the time. Stream's over. I gotta uh, go change the laundry. Uh, watch the tree grow. Oh my gosh. That is absolutely, oh man, that is cruelty incarnate. The Zarkov race with a gunship with inertia dampeners off, or a, a bomber. And in first person. And in <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, rip headphone users. Um, wow. Uh, I mean, now we have to show it just to show how ridiculous it is. Now, now it's like I have to give you an example. Goodness! All right, all right. So we need a bomber. Oh, look at this! We got the wide wings to make it even worse. Oh gosh, I love it. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, jeez. We're gonna take this one. <laughs> well, this is about to be hilarious, probably. Let's just. Uh, <clears throat> Let's just see how this goes, shall we? All right, thanks for the ship. I'm not even gonna worry about the rest of the build. It's what a, whatever. Whatever equipment we've got, that's what we need. <laughs> you all are, are just absurd. Let's go ahead and uh, 
do this manually. I will say, though, that I do like the wide wings on the bomber. I do think it's a very attractive ship. I think the modeling of these vessels has been coming across rather nicely. I can't wait to show you all the tier fours. Oh! Oh! All right. I said that te I tested races can be done in any ship config. That's not what I said. That's not, nope, nope. That's not what I said. I said, specifically, I said that races could be done in any ship using an assortment of builds. But I did not say that I had tested them in every single ship config and can confirm that every single ship config is possible to do in races. There are absolutely some configs, like, I don't know, say, a bomber with inertia dampeners off in first person, that would be incredibly limiting. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, uh, one, one question actually from me, actually, Eric, is uh, if you don't oh, actually get platinum on this run, uh, do you get the scrub title back? Uh, no, no, <laughs> not not even remotely close. I, I also just realized I went to the wrong location. Okay, I said that I was trying not to do cheats and stuff, but I went to the wrong location. That was a derp moment. So, dev cheats, let's get to the right location. All right, let's just do a little practicing with our inertia dampeners off. Oh, this is... This, what, what, am, what am I doing with my life? Oh my gosh. It's for the people, Eric. It's for the people. All right. Look at look at this! Come oh my gosh. This is What could what could go wrong? What could go wrong? Um Alright, let's uh Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm gonna be happy if I can get bronze. Like <laughs> let's be let's be really stinking clear. All right, so 50 stuff. That's, I don't think I can do that. Oh yeah, I, I'm gonna be happy if we get bronze on this one. You guys are ridiculous. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> no. Okay, hang on, we gotta restart, we gotta restart. Oh, the, oh gosh. Whoa, calm down. <laughs> calm down, Chip. <laughs> you can't even stabilize at the race gate. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> and anyone wondering, oh, it can't be that hard, can it? Yeah, here, here you go. Um, let's try and... Uh, no, leave it down. <laughs> We're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep going. We missed a ring. Ah! Ah! It's freaking tilt gaming. Oh no! <laughs> Our wings hit the dang side. No, come back. Ah! It's, nope, we are. Ah! Man, goodness. I, I feel so inclined. Like if somebody were able to freaking accomplish this race at a platinum level with freaking bomber, First person, inertia dampeners off. I, 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 I don't even, I, there would be no words. I would have no words at all, zero. If if somebody were to pull that off, I don't know if it's possible. I legitimately don't know if that's possible. I think you'd have to be using like track IR so that you could get the proper look around and, oh my goodness, this is, this is nuts. Okay. We're going to do this a couple more times, but, uh, <sighs> you guys are absolutely ridiculous. No, there's too much boosting. No. Ah, no, okay. It's, it's quick, quick restart, quick restart. Here we go. Quick. Oh, slow down there. All right. Race begins with the infinite madman looking good against the timer. Oh, th Thank thanks, Maurice. 
<laughs> Accidental weapon fire. I'm doing the, I'm doing like the, the childish thing of like tilting my butt. Ah! <laughs> Here we go. Ah! No! Okay, yeah, we got it. We got it. Nope, we missed that. We missed that one. That was feeling pretty good there for a moment. We're, we're continuing this one. That was just a slight error. We got this, guys. We got this. Ah! All right. Don't get, don't get too. Go, oh, no! Oh, that's a good bounce. That's a good bounce. Keep going. Let's go away. Ah! Okay, okay, all right, okay. No, 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 no. No, back, back up, please. I meant to do that mine. It was a uh, symbol of, no, no, don't complete the race. I have to get the ring. Go away. What, why am I still going backwards? <laughs> Come on. Come. Okay. The contestant has failed. <laughs> Better luck next time, eh? Man, I really need to do this again to save face. No, Adam, we don't. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well. That was an experience. All right. <laughs> And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to transition over to the community contest winners, uh, as well as any additional questions that you guys have. I hope you enjoyed that segment. That is insane. That is actually insane. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's just, let's go ahead and save this as our, our rifting game. So we'll have this, we have this nice little bomber uh, to take over uh, for next stream. All right. So, uh, that being said, we're gonna take a quick little break. I'll be right back. And then we're going to go into the community contest winners. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, it was a little contest we had. It's just a screenshot contest with voting internally from the community itself. Um, and you had to capture weapons and devices. That was the theme for the screenshot. So we'll look into that and the winners will receive a um, bragging rights role in the Discord for one week's time. Catch you in just a moment, guys. One moment. Be right back. Self-imposed challenges, man. You guys are ludicrous. Welcome back. So, we did a little community contest. Again, theme, weapons, devices. Asked you all to share up to two screenshots. You could not have more than two. And then the community voted on using emojis. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna start with the uh, least voted on and we're going to work all the way up to the most so everyone who submitted gets their shot seen all right so in with zero votes unfortunately we have four images though still are quite pleasing to the eye this first one comes from crispy muffin utilizing an alt perhaps the votes didn't go in his favor because the alt isn't 100 percent 
uh, you know, on the same page as a weapon, even though it is a weapon, but it's also not like a primary or a secondary weapon. So maybe there was a little bit of a loss in translation there. I'm not sure, but I do love the shot regardless. Seeing those arcs out is just, it's very pleasing from a level of just like, being a player and hitting as many targets as possible. Like, you, you can't go wrong with that. Like, that just feels good. So, uh, Crispy Muffin, it's still, it's still a great shot. It's still a great shot. You got no votes, I'm sorry, man. No community votes for you. Uh, and we're gonna move on to Flory with a shot from Everspace One, Duncan on the Okar with an Arc 9000, the classic, the original. Beautiful shot, I think. And uh, you got no votes. Doesn't satisfy anyone's desires, I guess. Uh, but Flory still, I think that it captures the essence of what is needed for a uh, weapon and or device front. Uh, you know, maybe it's that it was came from Everspace 1 and everyone's like, mm, eh, it doesn't count. Maybe it should be from Everspace 2. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I didn't specify that it had to be Everspace 2. I just said it had to be Everspace related content. So, hmm. Maybe we should keep that in mind for the uh, the next contest uh, that shows up. All right, next one up, we've got T3 Cube, and again, sorry, you 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 got you got no votes, uh, but definitely satisfying the criteria here on this front with those <laughs> absurd. Is this the gimmick? Is this the glitched one, T3 Cube? Is this one with the the glitch that you used and, and put the thermal guns in like the secondaries or whatever? Because uh, I think that one's fantastic. I think that shot looks really good. I love the excessive use of weaponry, which you just get from a gunship regardless, but still, uh, I think it comes together uh, really nicely, but unfortunately, nobody else voted for you. Sorry. Uh, a shame. It's the bug. Excellent. Yeah. It's an interesting bug for sure. An interesting bug for sure. All right. The last one that didn't get any votes at all. Oh my gosh. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. We had this shot from Thunderflame with the uh, the stinger in the back, pushing this ship with the magnetic repulsor, throwing it for a loop. I think it's rather pleasing personally. I love tossing ships about using like the physics engine within Everspace too. Like uh, I, I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times, but the magnetic repulsor from a level of just like enjoyment, I love that dang thing so much. It is hilarious, it's, you know, it's, it's, it, you just, it's you giddy. It makes me giddy. Okay. It's just, I love it. I love tossing opponents around using that in conjunction with kunai is actually a really powerful, uh, uh, combination, but it's so much fun to just like control the movement of your opponents. It's, it's delightful. And I think that this shot is very playful and I love its focal point, but no votes for you. Now we're going into the territory where uh, we are starting to see votes, all right? And by the way, I would love to see so many more votes in future contests, okay? There's not necessarily a limit to how many votes you can do, for the record. Um, and yeah, you could vote for basically everyone's if you really wanted to. Maybe I should establish a rule instead of say that out loud. Huh, mm. Anyway, one vote <clears throat> on this shot from B.W. Lambert. This was the last shot submitted. It also comes from, uh, I, th I think this comes from Everspace One. I think, question mark? It's a Corvette, right? It's an Okar Corvette from Everspace One. Uh, it's low res, but that doesn't matter necessarily. Seeing it have an explosion after the Arc 9000 as well, but you just don't see the ball, it's just the flames going on. Um, and uh, yeah, it got one vote. Maybe it was from B.W. Lambert himself, I'm not sure. But regardless, it, takes that place. Next up, now we're going into three votes territories. Ooh, ooh, three votes, guys. Seriously, you, you should all vote. Even if you don't submit, you can go in there and vote. Go ham, okay? All right, next one up comes from Kazaa. This one has both the use of a weapon and a device. Wow, wow, what a treat. Taken on this tormentor, utilizing, that is a disintegrator, as well as the kunai on the fusion hook. What a clever combination. I think the color uses is, is also fairly pleasing. You know, it's it does the job, I think. It does the job. And uh, yeah, 
So definitely checks all the boxes and there are a couple other people who agreed that you should uh, get some uh, praise for this one. Rightly so. Next one up, we've got another one from T3Cube. This one's absolutely a glitch that has since been removed. So y'all don't get excited. You can't put uh, primary weapons into secondary items, uh, item slots anymore. Will that bug show up again? I don't freaking know. We hope not, because it really is a bug. Uh, does it look cool? I suppose. I think it's, you know, it's definitely crazy. That's for sure. That's way too many beam lasers in all the right ways. So uh, yeah. But uh, frankly speaking, I think the gunship's already strong enough with its four hard points. Thank you very much. You did get three votes for this one. Next one. Uh, oh, the glitch is still in the game. Confirm still working. Okay, hang on a second. I have to go soak my head in water. Um, oof. <laughs> Jeez. Well, that's, that's fun. <clears throat> anyway, uh, let's move on to the next one. We got this second shot from B.W. Lambrecht, which received four votes. We got four votes on this one, highlighting the um, Annihilator virus on a drone close up. Love the symbols that are able to be highlighted here. I think there's a lot of detail in the effects that is captured in the right ways. This is almost like a shot you would see to highlight in a... Um, a wiki, right? Like you go to a wiki and you be like, uh, you know, this is the blah blah blahs, and you like you see this shot. Um, I think it's a, I think it's a really nice shot. And four other individuals uh, liked this one and agree. So well done. Next one up, we've got Crispy Muffins' second shot, which also received four votes. Uh, maybe it only got four because of the sheer audacity to conquer the GMB in CEDO, which we see have you have been going through some sense of oppression uh, and lack of care. And yet here he is just absolutely annihilating them with rockets and firing his weapons. Uh, looks like a synchro pulse. Absolute savage. Yet it does capture all the elements of the contest. And, you know, it got four votes. So I do think, with all sincerity, I think it's a pretty clever shot. I do like the use of depth of field. I love that. Um, and I also like this added spacing over here in the corner so that I can actually just talk right here and I'm not like blocking anything. I'm not blocking any visuals as I'm using my hands to discuss and talk. That's also a very clever use of spacing specifically for the stream presentation. So well done on that front. <clears throat> We've got Medbad being clever with the Umbra. It's the Umbra that's the blaster, right? It's, I've got a 50% chance here. It's one of the two from the Eclipse set uh, shooting a weapon that looks like an Eclipse. And I love the positioning here because it is over the star in the background. So you still have the light cast forward. Um, it's nice symmetry. Uh, even though there's not technically symmetry, the, the, it's just, it feels like there is. It feels almost like a natural shot. Um, very clever, very creative. Four votes for Medbed. So well done on that front. Yeah, all of these shots are fantastic, sincerely. All of these shots are fantastic. <clears throat> all right, now we're going into the second place winners. I say winners because there's two of you who got five votes. The first one comes from Kazaa. <laughs> he was doing a little bit of testing on what would happen if a gunship were to fire a beam laser at a reflecting shield while using the front shield generator that's also reflecting. And my, my, were the results incredibly hilarious. What you are seeing here are lasers bouncing back and forth and back and forth and back and forth between until they finally exit the location. Um, and... <laughs> I think it also comes together well with the color usage overall. We have a very mono blue uh, cascading across the entire imagery with the uh, parts of grays and blacks, you know, appearing throughout and obviously the whites. So you have a consistent theme across everything, even with the lasers being blue. Sometimes it can be hard to get the right color of a weapon that you want, uh, but that's what makes this screenshot really stand out. So I think you did a fantastic job capturing these using devices and their effects with weapons 
spot on theming, spot on coloration comes together so freaking well. Particle bing bo ping pong is what I see Geek Bike say. Yep, and that's 100% accurate. So kudos to you, Kaza, in your second place. Medbed also receiving the second place reward here. We've got the use of, I think that's the, uh, the rail gun, I think. Blasting a target off in the distance while these foes within this rift are stricken with the Annihilator virus, trying to get some semblance of direction, which they're probably about to pop. And uh, yeah, it's beautifully done. Very fantastic shot. Uh, you know, five other people, at least in the community, do in fact agree with you that this was super duper. And now we are going to our winners. We have a double winner. We got two winners who took first place, who both got seven votes. Seven votes. The first one, how do we do this? I just, I just show them both and then, you know, we come back around. So the two winners are both uh, Flory and Thunderflame for their shots. All right, let's have a look at their shots and uh, talk about them. So this one comes from Flory. This was, I believe from a, was this a bug? I can't remember if this was a bug or not. Maybe this was just a natural shot. Um, I feel like there was a bug that also produced a similar result, but this might just be an EMP that's just annihilating a bunch of mines nearby. Uh, regardless, regardless. Uh, seven votes for Flory, uh, taking it uh, to the extreme here. And all those particles and, and beautiful shots definitely bring it home. Uh, so good, such a great shot. Seven other members of the community as well. And uh, yeah. I love the way that it was brought together. I think that this definitely deserves a first place finish. So uh, we'll now let's also move on over to Thunder Flame, which feels like it's coming out of an action movie. Let's be completely clear. Looks like a sequence that's from a cutscene or like, wow. Uh, very well done, very well accomplished Thunder Flame. And you brought, you brought home the goal as well alongside Flory. So uh, congratulations, this is a lot of fun to do this little challenge to see what you guys could come up with and seeing a bomber just bombing the heck out of a station that looks like it's starting to crumble. I love that. I love the way that you captured all these elements. The theming was on point and the stylization in which you chose to bring this together uh, is powerful. It's powerful storytelling and that's what we were looking for to bring it all together. And so yeah, you guys did fantastic and getting all of these votes from the community. So yeah, so what that what does that mean? What does that mean for both uh, Flory as well as <clears throat> Thunderflame here? These two shots will earn you two things. What? Two things? Yeah, two things. I'm going to not only give you the bragging rights role in the Discord for one week's time, you could potentially retain that if you submit to a you know a future contest and whatnot. Um, you'll get the bragging rights reward for one week's time, so you'll be able to brag about it, highlight your your victory in this community challenge, and you will also both be receiving Galactic Photographer. There it is. You're getting Galactic Photographer for this permanently because you got at one point or another first place in the challenge, which makes your images very delightful to look at. So that will be a permanent addition to both of your guys' Discord uh, accounts. You'll become Galactic Photographers. That means your color's gonna change over to that uh, purple. And you'll both have the bragging rights for a week's worth of time. So very cool stuff. Thank you so much for everybody who participated. I mean, let's be clear. All of these shots are awesome. All of these shots are awesome. If anyone's like, oh, well, yeah, but look. no, no. All of these shots were very well crafted. You can tell that there was care and attention to detail to bring home uh, the, the concepts, to bring home uh, how the, the space works, to the colors work, and to meet the theme. So seriously, congratulations to everybody who participated. So from here, now we need to talk about what's in store for you know future challenges. What's, what's next? Where do we go from here? What are we gonna, what are we gonna do? 
Well, I had a little bit of talking with Geekbyte about it, and uh, there are a number of, there are a lot of other challenges that we want to, uh, you know, do with you guys and reward you for. But in order to round off the year, to keep things a little bit more festive, we are going to have another community screenshot contest. And the theme surrounding this one is red, blue, or red, blue, red, green. <laughs> is red, <Pickle>. green. <laughs> red, blue. Why did I even <laughs> red, green? So the theme surrounds uh, it's, you know, you can make it, you know, thematic to the holidays if you would like if you don't want to have anything to do with that and you only want to highlight reds and greens you can also go that direction um we're, we're not splitting hairs here okay uh but every single one of your shots needs to highlight the colors the specific colors of red and green so get creative with how your ship looks find those items that reflect the coloration palettes get in those locations manipulate your environment have fun with this challenge and remember whenever you do submit these you will be limited to two submissions okay we'll be opening up the uh the submissions again after the stream so you'll see that channel open up you can only have two submissions if you supply a third one you will be asked to remove one of your prior ones and if a prior one has had votes on it you effectively lose those votes so be very thoughtful which two shots that you submit Furthermore, go for that bragging rights. And if you don't have it, this is a, you know, a way to earn Galactic Photographer as well. And as you just saw, there can be multiple winners, even though it would probably be nice to get more votes and have a more definitive solo winner. But you know what, we're just getting started. We're looking at how things go. So congratulations again, both to Flory, as well as Thunderflame for your submissions. All right. That's what we got. Guys, you have been, you guys have been awesome. Oh, I'm, I'm shutting down the stream early. What am I doing? Oh my gosh. Nope, we can't have that. We can't have that. Do we have more questions? Uh, Geekman, have I missed any questions? No, were... nothing came in, nothing okay. at all. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> so guys, we can, uh, we can hang out. We can, if you want to ask some questions, excuse me, ask some questions about um, any anything. You know, we can, we can have a little bit of uh, chatting here just to top off the stream. So, uh, yeah, but dang, I'm glad that we went ahead and started doing these little community contests. I hope you guys are going to be, uh, are going to enjoy them as we move in. Um, and I do want to put emphasis on the fact that we are not planning on only doing screenshot contests. There will be other little challenges for you, uh, in the future. So we're just starting things off a little bit slowly, seeing how interaction is with it. We do like the numbers thus far. I do think we could see more. I hope that you guys get in there and start submitting and have fun with this. Again, themed challenge for next week because the next stream is going to be on the 23rd of, of December. Uh, you know, it's going to have that red uh, green theme. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Chadawee says nobody votes, everyone wins. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys. If, if we start thinking that there's some manipulation of votes going on, we're going to change the system. But we think that the system currently is fine the way it is. So. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Woo. Good, good stuff. Still working towards Galactic Builder. Been ironing out this latest build and it's been a time issue. Ah, I totally understand that, Deshra. Yeah, I mean, for some some individuals, like, I mean, for myself in particular, like, every time we had a major update, I was like, okay, I got to restart my save. I got to get back up naturally. I have to make sure that the progression fits and feels good and blah, 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 blah. And that does take a lot of time. Now, because it's my job to have save files and whatnot prepared uh, for these streams, as well as testing purposes, um, you know, I have the time to do that because it's on work time. Uh, but I can definitely understand why that would be a challenge for you to... to sneak in there especially if you're restarting your saves but yeah stay the course i think there's a lot of really good ideas out there with builds and whatnot um and feel free to share inside of the discord you know have a discussion with others because i think there's a there's a some really good discussions that can show up especially in like the everspace 2 discussion channel or in the rfg chat channel uh, just kind of like ironing out a build or asking like how things work. Maybe you'll discover something that you didn't know before. Maybe I'll discover something that I didn't know worked before. It's, it's great, it's, it's great stuff. 
Awesome. Oh. Steal, steal the vote, says Crispy Muffin. Oh my gosh. Look, okay. <laughs> Just so everyone's aware, after we moved the channel and we hit it, um, uh, both Geek Bite and I went in and we just completely curated the number of votes because of our intense bias. So, not at all. <laughs> so the, whatever the votes were, we let them stand. So, um, and for anybody who's wondering like the, the definitive time of when votes close and stuff, it's not really super definitive. Like this is a lot for funsies, but it does kind of close between a Thursday, Friday time period so we can count the votes and arrange for all the images to be shared during the stream. So um, aside from that as well, like if you guys are still sharing in the standard screenshot channel, please do so. Today, obviously we didn't have enough time to cover the standard screenshots, but in the future, we still will very much highlight both the themed contest as well as the standard screenshots. So don't think that that's getting uh, put on the back burner and uh, you know anything like that. Uh, Cause there have been some really cool screenshots too. It's been a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> I know this isn't a dev stream, but will there be a roadmap for 2023? Sorry to be a pain. No, it's totally a dev stream. Uh, and there is only a roadmap for 2023 listed in the Discord under the ES2 FAC channel. Um, in short, it's just kind of listing off certain elements that are coming. Uh, the official wording that we have been uh, sticking to is that it's going to, uh, 2023 is going to uh, release uh, the full game in the first half of the year. So um, it's a very small tweak to our wording on that front. A lot of you guys like to remind me and say, oh, well, you accidentally said quarterly that one time. Well, it changed from quarterly to uh, half. So uh, there was a, some soft manipulation there just to ensure that we hit everything that we are aiming for. But I can assure you guys, 100% uh, it is coming in the first half. Very much so. There is no way it's not. So, yeah. So not a pain whatsoever. All right, guys, that is actually the conclusion of the stream. We're actually past now. So um, you guys have been awesome. Seriously, with your screenshots and your submissions for this theme challenge, I'm already Eric Schrader, your community ambassador. Oh goodness, what a change up. Don't stop being awesome. Submit those themes around red, green colorations. It's gonna open up very soon, shortly after the stream, and we'll catch you next time. Toodles! Did I say blue again? Red, green. Red, green. Hello there. So I made a promise last week. <laughs> Dang it. <clears throat> My voice is a little raw, but I'm going to do some attempted beatboxing. And guys, uh, if you are staying for this, first off, I'm sorry. Um, but second off, I do this because I love you. <clears throat> Nope, that's a bad start. Hang on. Man, I'm having trouble starting. Okay, hang on. Let's kick it in overdrive. Let's go. All right.
It's a weird ending, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to say they're getting better, uh, whatever. But uh, look, I'm not a beatboxer. I'm glad that you enjoy this with me. It's it's a lot of fun to to just screw around and, and have a good time. We are going to be transferring the stream over to on the Twitch side at least. I think Corbin is streaming Everspace too. Is that correct, Keekbite? I think he is. I think I saw it. So go check. All right. Uh, just give me confirmation on that, and I'm going to keep chatting with the the fine folks here uh, because I do want to remind you all that Everspace Two is currently in an early access process. And it's gonna go up in price at that 1.0 release in the first half of 2023. So. Corbin is streaming. He is streaming in Everspace 2? He, mm, He's not? Yes. Is, okay, perfect. No, Excellent. he is, yeah, he is. He's doing riffs. Awesome, oh, sweet. So yeah, we'll transfer over and we'll uh, uh, look at Corbin doing those sick Everspace 2 riffs. Um, he's slowly getting better. He's making some fine improvements. And I think that Encouraging him would be super freaking duper. All right. Uh, otherwise, guys, have a safe and wonderful weekend. And uh, I've already said it, but don't stop being awesome because you're awesome and I love you. And you give me so much energy. Oh, it's great. Community challenge, red, green, certainly not blue. Get in there. I'm going to open up the channel like uh, in, a, in a moment. Okay. All right. Be safe. Goodbye.